Hello, trading is closed on January 14th, 2016. We had a few calls yesterday. We made the case that this low could hold. It didn't quite hold. We had a 2B bottom. That's a new low promptly reversed. It's a buy signal from Trader Vic. We had an optional target of 1944 and change. We got to 1934, so we came about 10 points short, but at least we had the direction right. Uh, the target was optional, so it doesn't really have to print, and we'll just forget about it. During the day, MJT gave a few signals. Here it said there was a buy, and the S means if the move is immediate, it tends to be strong. Here was a buy and an ultimate one as well. The S again means if the move is immediate, it tends to be strong. Those all worked. Also, when it said the move was going to be strong, it gave an optional target of hitting this line, which it did right here at the end. It also says the whole move is false and gives us a target of 1886.40, most likely to print by Tuesday morning. Uh, there were some other things going on here. Usually when I get a lower target like that from EJT, the call is pretty easy. You just say we're going to have a drop. I don't think it's that easy here. Here's our um, to mark buy signals. The stops were never violated in this time frame, and we've closed over them. So officially, we're still on the buy. We had some trouble with the signal on the 30-minute th chart. It never paid off, but now we have nine bars of setup in the other direction. So the signal was superseded rather than failed. We have nice MACD divergence on this chart to go along with the DeMarc buy signal. The real positive thing here is that we have a reversal formation based on somebody else's work. We gapped up, hit a new low, and then closed over the initial high. More than that, we have one, two, three, four, five, five, We have five straight days in which we had lows and we closed over all of them despite hitting a new low today. That's pretty impressive action. Not only do we have a good rally, the rally accomplished something by clearing some very major hurdles. If we were still in, if, if we were still in and impulsive move down, it's unlikely that so many prior lows would be overtaken. There are a few things though which aren't so good. Here's the percentage of stocks with positive patterns. Even with a strong move up, the number of positive stocks drops. Not good. And after rallying all day long, we can't close over the middle of the day's highs. Usually when you have conflicting signals like that, the commonest thing is to close is to, is to have a gap out of the day's range. I think having a gap out of a gap under this low is quite a, a stretch. So if we're going to have a gap at all, it should be over today's high for the sixth day in a row. The next most common thing that happens is we close little change, and I can't rule that out, but we do have this lower target. It should print by Tuesday. I think one way for us to get there is to have a gap up, really at least into the middle to high 1930s and possibly higher than that. Reverse around 1130 Eastern 
and then have a big drop to hit the target. It's hard for me to see how this rally happened just to be reversed immediately, but in a market as weak as this one, one never knows. So the call for tomorrow is 1886.40 by early Tuesday, but a good chance of a gap out of the day's range, most likely higher, possibly substantially higher, with a change in trend around 1130 Eastern Time. And that's today's call.